All right, so we're getting this episode started, and I need to know, like, if you have a Mega Man tattoo, clap your hands. Woo-hoo! Oh, that's two people! <laughs> that's, yeah! <laughs> that's two out of the three people that are here, and if you haven't guessed it, we have a surprise special guest! <laughs> Woo! So let's get started. This is Press Any Button. I'm Nikki. I'm Eric. I'm Michael. If you remember our Phantasmagoria episode, Michael was also on that. So if you're like, hey, that voice sounds familiar, that's why. (laughs) Good to be back. Yeah. So what are we talking about, Nick? If you haven't guessed it, today we're talking about Mega Man, but more specifically, Mega Man 2. It's about time. (laughs) Yeah. Mega Man 2 is an action platformer game developed and published by Capcom for the NES it was released in Japan in 1988 and in North America and PAL regions the following years. Mega Man 2 continues Mega Man's battle against the evil Dr. Wily and his rogue robots. Should we one, two, mega go? <laughs> I think we should, yeah. Uh, you ready? Let's do it. Right. One, one, two, two mega, mega go! go. Before we get into the history, there's a little bit of history between you guys I'd like to talk about and why we have Michael on this episode, because it just wouldn't feel right to do a Mega Man without Michael, right? Yeah, and for me personally, like a lot of my own love of the game actually involves Michael. Yeah, (laughs) exactly. That's why we had to have Michael on. Look, Michael and Eric went and got Mega Man tattoos together that's true yeah okay, same like day mega man bff we so have over like here. an intense mega connection <laughs> we have over um, this game very much it's so great i love it and you you guys have a deep love for this game i'm a lot more new to this game as in this is pretty much the first time i've played it <laughs> but y'all have been playing it for like since you were kids yeah. I, I don't remember a life before Mega Man. <laughs> <laughs> My first memory was Mega Man. <laughs> yeah. For me, like, I always enjoyed Mega Man when I was a kid. I was just... Like, I would put a plastic cup on my hand and pretend to be Mega Man. Oh, Did you oh yeah, me that? too, of course. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. But the games were, like, probably too hard for me. I remember... As a kid. Yeah, I remember watching my babysitter play, like, once when I was a kid and him beating <laughs> the dragon from Wily Stage 1. Ooh. And uh, in Mega Man 2. Mm-hmm. And it was like one of the most incredible things I had ever seen. It's a hard boss. Even now, it's like, it's not easy. You have yeah. to like, it's it's tough. But I remember like when I played it as, as a kid, like I had a Game Genie. So I would touch put it in the Game oh. Genie. <laughs> so yeah, what about you, Michael? Yeah, so I'm curious. Nikki, when was the first time you played a Mega Man game? And which game was it? I might have dabbled, like, honestly, I don't think I've ever played enough to actually count as playing it. Okay. Like, I may have attempted a level or something. But you probably didn't hear about Um, it until you met Eric, maybe? Yeah, pretty much. Yeah, I didn't really know what Mega Man was. I knew what Mario was and, like, a lot of other video games. And I probably heard of Mega Man, but I definitely didn't really know much about it at all. I think that's normal, because the series is not... As alive and vibrant as like Mario or something. Mm-hmm. Yeah, they need to make a Mega Man movie though. Yeah, I mean it's it's been in talks for years. <laughs> but, but Eric, what about you? When was the first time you played it, and which Mega Man was it? I want to say it was two, but I don't remember exactly when. I remember having it as a kid. I just don't remember when exactly I got it. I remember getting one after two. Like my parents came home one day with Mega Man one. Which is the rare one. It yeah. was like hard to find. Back Whoa. Then. Yeah. And then I remember getting, I, I remember really wanting three, but never getting three and then getting four at one point. <laughs> and four was amazing. But oh th- yeah. Yeah. It's... But that was my last one, I think for until Mega Man X. Yeah. Wow. Oh, okay. That's, that's, yeah, it's a while. Yeah. What was your first Mega Man game? I 
think it was probably two. Like mm-hmm. we used to rent it from this little place out in California called the Video Nook. Nice. It was like nice. pre blockbuster, just little like video rental place. Yeah. And it was like they just have games, and you know the the box art would look nothing like the actual oh, yeah. game. And Mega oh, Man yeah. is famous for like bad box <laughs> art. Yeah. But I think it was two. It was either two, three, or four. You know, it's. Is this one that you played with your brothers or like was John too young for this one? We or? all played it and it's like all the kids that we had, like my mom's daycare we were over. Oh, nice. And they would all be better at it, you know, <laughs> but like I remember playing two, three, and four and then when five came out, it was a big deal. And then when six came out, like I remember like There's getting so it. There's so many now. <laughs> and part one uh, was the first thing I ever bought with my own money. Uh, Mega oh, Man wow. One, cool for twenty one dollars in like ninety three, probably ninety three. Wow, yeah. And was, then was uh, that a lot of weeks of allowance? It was a <laughs> lot, a lot of allowance, <laughs> a lot and, of birthday uh, money, <laughs> and it was like hard to do it. Like oh, I'm gonna invest this money in this game. And then my little brother Larry ripped the label <gasps> off of the cartridge. Larry, what? how that, dare he? What an asshole! Oh my god, <laughs> he should have known better. But, but then we got to, we redrew like a new label, and so we actually still have a cartridge with like a a kid's drawing of like what we thought the label should be, <laughs> which I should bring over sometime. That's awesome. Oh my god, yes! If you find that, definitely send us that picture because I oh, want to yeah. see it. You know, I'll forgive Larry after all these years for that. That's good. <laughs> yeah, I'm that's glad. Good. <laughs> for me, it wasn't really until I went to college where I kind of got back into it. Like I met Michael. And that like got me into racing the games because he told me how him and his brothers would race like yeah. one through six. I'm like, yeah, that sounds amazing. And so that's kind of when I started like kind of getting back into it. I would retrain with like an emulator, like in save states to try to practice because, you know, the games are really frustrating. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Let's get into the actual game. Yeah. Okay. So before the release of Mega Man, Capcom primarily made arcade games. That shouldn't be a huge surprise. With most of their console releases being ports of those games. What are the, uh, what are some Capcom? When I think of Capcom, like early Capcom, I think of like Street Fighter. Yeah. What's it called? Uh, Not Dungeons and Dragons. Ghosts and Goblins. Ghosts Ghosts and Goblins. 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 Okay, yeah. That was a big one. Oh, yeah. And then later, of course, Resident Evil is a huge one. Yeah. So Mm -hmm. like... Capcom always has this history of like making really good number twos. Yeah. Because <laughs> Mega Man 2 is like arguably better than Mega Man 1. Street mm-hmm. Fighter 2, like no one talks about Street Fighter 1. That's yeah. true, yeah. So the original Mega Man development team consisted of just six people, including wow. recent college graduate Kaiji Anafune, who came up with uh, most of the character and enemy designs. Mega Man's design was influenced by Astro Boy, which I think you guys probably know. Yeah. Yeah, he looks very similar to. It's obvious, too. yeah. Yeah. For anyone who doesn't know, Astro Boy was like one of the first Japanese animes, I think, ever to exist, which is cool. Old black and white little boy and, robot. Um, yeah. Isn't like the big boy mascot kind of like designed after that too? <laughs> oh, Bob's big boy in uh, Los Angeles? The big boy that's like, you know, like yeah. Dr. Evil gets into in the oh, Austin yeah. movies. <laughs> which I think I heard some other fact that like big boy is also related to like, I think it's checkers out here. But we don't have the big boy mascot. Mm-hmm. We just have the regular. It used thing. to be Shoney's back in the day, but like oh, I don't know if it moved maybe on. Maybe I'm to another restaurant later, but oh, yeah. uh, the big boy's been he around. Looks, okay, I've never, I've never drawn a connection. <laughs> he to looks him. like he it, looks but... just like him. Yeah. Mm-hmm. So Bob's big boy might be Astro Boy. Who knows? Who might be Mega Man? <laughs> Conspiracy theories. You heard it here first. <laughs> <laughs> so yeah, he's based on Astro Boy, and although he's credited for designing the character, and if insists that he only did half the job creating him, as his mentor developed the basic character concept before like his arrival, even. Okay. I've heard that. Yeah, he's like cool. the disputed creator. He's like he's the father of Mega Man, yeah. but he's not the he's not truly mm-hmm. the creator. It and probably that's... took a, a large team to come up with the concept. Yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> and that's cool that he wasn't just like super egotistical and was like yeah i created Mega Man all by myself <laughs> oh yeah i didn't have any help from anyone <laughs> and you know he's you know he made sure people knew other people worked on it yeah and the um the designs for dr light and dr wiley were based on two characters one real and one fictional i think michael may already know this but would you want to guess who they are nikki well, I know Dr. Wiley for sure has got to be like Albert Einstein. Yeah, you are correct looks, in that. Yeah. He looks just like him with the hair and the mustache okay, and everything. Okay, so he's a real person. So what fictional character do you think Dr. Light is based on? I would say like Thomas Edison, maybe. 
Oh my god, you're two for two. No, no. Because the light what? bulb. No. Is that wrong? Yeah, that's wrong. Oh my I god. said I also said fictional character, not non-fictional oh, character. Oh, oh true. Oh, 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 like Albert Einstein and someone else. Oh, I know this. Like he's based on a fictional Doc character. Brown. He's based on a holiday <laughs> that happens in December. Santa Claus. Yes. <laughs> is that right? What? Yes. <laughs> Wait. So Doctor Wiley is like a mix between Santa Claus and no, Albert no. Doctor Light is based on oh. <laughs> Doctor Light is based on Santa Claus. <laughs> And Dr. Wiley is based on Albert Einstein. That makes more sense. So wait, Thomas Edison is in there at all? I didn't see Thomas Edison, but it could be I some mean, Thomas Dr. Edison. I mean, Dr. Light, they spell it like light. I, th- I think his room. looks, I think the way he... He does look like Santa. He looks like little. Santa. But he doesn't have a beard, right? He doesn't have a beard. He just has like white hair. Thomas Edison or Thomas Light? No, 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 Light? Dr. <laughs> Dr. Light. Dr. Light has a beard. He does have he's a beard? A full, he's a puffy beard. Oh uh, yeah. In fact, yeah. his name is Thomas Light, so it's clearly Thomas Edison. No, it's it's, it's clearly Santa Claus but, <laughs> because he has a big white right. poofy beard. <laughs> I was joking with Santa Claus. I I did not expect that to be the right answer. <laughs> that was the right answer. That's amazing. But Albert Wiley, yeah, is Albert uh, Einstein. Yeah, basically, the evil, the evil, <laughs> the evil Albert Einstein who wants to rule the world. Right. He's just missing the little glasses. If he had the little round glasses, it would be like Santa. <laughs> Did you guys ever see the um, the Mega Man cartoon show from like the nineties? Eric made me watch some of it. You're ruining my fun fact because I have that as a fun fact. Oh, no. We'll talk. We'll talk about it later. Okay, I'm jumping all around. So <laughs> okay, I'll, I'll hold off. I'll hold off. Okay. So the team initially considered names such as Mighty Kid, Knuckle Kid, and Rainbow <laughs> Man before settling on their final decision. The rainbow name was considered because the character could change into seven colors based yeah. on the weapon selected. That's cool. I love rainbow. Yeah, yeah that's like totally. Uh, rainbow vibe. man, rainbow man. Thank you very much. Oh. It's mighty kid or knuckle kid right. and oh, rainbow yeah. man. Well, they, they weren't doing rainbow kids. Rainbow lad. <laughs> <laughs> I like Mega Man the best, though. I'm glad they went with Mega Man. But well, they didn't go they with didn't, Mega Man. Though. Wait, so. What? The production what? team chose... It's called Mega Man now, you guys. Well, <laughs> we'll get into that. So the production team chose a music motif when naming the main characters, with the protagonist's original name being Rock and his sister's name being Roll, a play on the term rock and roll. Yeah. So, yeah, his original name is Rock Man. Okay. Is that his name in Japan? Yeah. That's oh, okay. His name, I think, everywhere yeah. but America. Oh, why don't they just keep it the same? Rockman is like, when you think of the theme, it's it makes more sense. It's better. Mm-hmm. But if you just thought like 80s America, Rockman sounds yeah. like, a, like a rock monster, like a stone That's true. monster. And it just didn't like, fit, you know? I mean, it doesn't really make a lot of sense because all the other bosses or boss robots, whatever you want to call them, their theme is what they do. So it like makes sense. So you would think if Mega Man's name was Rockman, that he would be a rock because... Air Man has to do with air, <laughs> and you know, Heat Man has to do with heat or whatever. So, like, that would be like, well, why do all these other people go with their name, but then, like, you don't? Well, only the main characters got the privilege of having the rock and roll themes. Oh, because there's like, and we'll pro- you post probably in your, in your notes, Eric, but like, Roku Man it sounds like Roku Man, but <laughs> Rock Man is the you know, main character, and then his sister's role, okay, rock and roll, yeah, oh, rock yeah. and roll, and then later. We know Proto Man. It's probably in your notes. So sorry if I'm like skipping. No, you're good. But Proto Man in Japan is blues. So like rock and roll, and then blues. Okay. And then you have well, blues blues is great because blues is also like the precursor to rock and roll. Okay. Oh yeah, yeah. So that's right. He's like the the proto rock and roll. Yeah. Holy shit. But that's all Mega Man one. So I'm just missing a lot of information based information. Yeah. Okay. So it's part of it's Mega Man three. I've only played Mega Man two as far as like my working. So we shouldn't like get too far ahead. That's fine. But the last thing to say is like base. That's like Mega Man seven. Yeah. Base in base in trouble. Base in base in trouble, which (laughs) I think are actually treble and forte in Japan. Oh really? And and bass is like bass clef and treble treble clef like <laughs> all about that bass. <laughs> but yeah, there's no treble in Japan. Yeah. <laughs> That's kidding. right. There's a very heavy music theme in the game that didn't translate, yeah. unfortunately, which kind of sucks. I feel like it was lost. So when the game was localized for distribution in America, Capcom changed the title from Rockman to Mega Man. The moniker was created by Capcom's then senior vice president Joseph Morisi who claimed it was changed merely because he did not like the original name. And <laughs> okay. quotes, he said, 
That title was horrible, Maurice said. So I came up with Mega Man, and they liked it enough to keep using it for the U.S. games. <laughs> I got to ask, which do you guys think is better, Mega Man or Rock Man? Uh, oh, God. Based off of this game alone, Mega Man 2, I like Mega Man. You know, it makes more sense than Rock Man, but I don't know. They're both fine, I guess. I would say that with the context, Rock Man is just better like, yeah. all around. But I get that the context is important, so mm-hmm. it makes sense why it's Mega Man. Yeah, yeah, maybe just seeing that title, Rock Man. If it was it just... like Rockin' Man or like Rock and Roll Man, which doesn't make sense, mm-hmm. you know. But I get why they did it. If they put a bunch of guitars on the on the cover, <laughs> yeah, <laughs> maybe the Rock Man would translate. Mm-hmm. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> I think of the thing from Fantastic Four when I think of like Rock Man, though. Like, that's yeah. the image. And that's yeah. what they didn't want. You know? so. mm-hmm. Yeah, I think that kind of had something to do with it. But. Yeah, because I think Fantastic Four has probably been around before. Or, you <laughs> know, Mega Man. Capcom guy just not liking the name. That's true. <laughs> also, and when you're in charge, you get to call the shots because yeah. you're the boss. All right, so moving on to Mega Man 2 specifically. Okay. So while the first Mega Man game reviewed pretty well, it did not sell well enough to justify a sequel, at Ooh. least immediately. Wow. Okay. In uh, the U.S. or just or in Japan? No, just in general. Just in general. Okay. So mm. basically, there were some internal politics where some people at Capcom wanted to make a sequel, but others did not. The original Mega Man ended up being a sleeper hit. So basically, the initial sales weren't very good. And then it started picking up steam later. Once people, word of mouth yeah. spread, people were like telling their friends to play it and stuff. So, But the development team really wanted to make a second game. And so Capcom eventually allowed that development team to create a sequel on the condition that they work <laughs> concurrently on other projects as well. Oh, so it was kind of like a passion project. Yeah. They were also given a development time of only three to four months to complete the game. What? (laughs) Oh, my God. For for Mega Man 3? Mega Man 2. Oh, my God. Yeah. That is like nothing. Yeah. Wow. I would have lied. I would have lied to them on when I started. (laughs) I would have been like, oh, okay, well, we'll start it in a few months. And then I would have started it right then just to give myself some more time. Wow. Uh, (laughs) But you said it was only six people? Yeah. Although the original team was six people. For Mega Man 2. I think it's still around six or seven people for for Mega Man 2 as well. A lot of of the same people. Some people kind of switched. I'll get into that in a little bit. Okay. So here's a great quote from Inafune about the game's development. So we, of our own accord, got together, spent our own time. We worked really, really hard, you know, just 20-hour days to complete this. Whoa. Because we were making something we wanted to make. Probably in all my years of actually being in a video game company, that was the best time of working at Capcom because we were actually working towards the goal. We were all laying it on the line. We were doing what we wanted to do, and it really showed in the game because it's a game, once again, that we put all of our time and effort and love, so to speak, into designing it. Oh, that's so so romantic. (laughs) (laughs) So they worked really hard to get this game out. And you can tell, like, you obviously picked this one for a reason out of oh, all yeah. the Mega Man games you could have picked for the first one. That's true. And there are a lot of good Mega Man games. And honestly, picking two wasn't, to me, it wasn't as straightforward, like, as maybe you're thinking it mm-hmm. was, because there are, are a lot of good Mega Man games. Well, I know. Yeah. And I'd love to ask you guys, like, too, like, I agree. Mega Man 2, I think, arguably, is the most iconic yeah. Mega Man game of all. Mm-hmm. Arguably, because there's so many fantastic games yeah and i love video games but this is probably no it is my favorite series of all time yeah and Mega Man 2 is probably the best one yeah it's up there for sure depends on the day sometimes Mm -hmm. i might see a different one but i want to know from you guys like what is your favorite Mega Man game and that could include x series legends all the series like (laughs) best Mega Man. it's easy for me Mega Man 2 because it's the only (laughs) one i've played (laughs) <laughs> but I hear people talk about Mega Man 10 a lot. You like, mean uh, Mega Man X? Or, yeah, X. So it's so it's not interchangeable. Mega Man 10 is a totally different game than oh, Mega okay, Man yeah. X. Oh, okay, yeah. Mega Man X. Sorry. I <laughs> no, thought, it's, it's, there's a reason that's funny. I thought funny, they were like, interchangeable. We, we all thought that in the 90s. Oh, okay. So like, this is, there's a reason <laughs> that's good. That's funny. That's usually the second one that I hear about a yeah. lot, like just on YouTube. And, and honestly, like, like, I'd have a hard time choosing between like Mega Man 2, Mega Man 4, Mega Man X. Those are like all on my top, probably top three Mega Man games. <laughs> and for me, it's probably two, three, four, and nine. 
Eric, Nine you, is really good too, yeah. Oh my Eric, God. are you going to tell us how many Mega Man games there are like all together? No, I didn't have that written down. <laughs> okay. sorry, sorry to disappoint you. Wow. Come on, Eric. <laughs> it's over 100. I know no that. way. Yeah, yeah. No, it is. What? It's, over, it's over 100. I'm, yeah, I'm not even That kidding. is correct. Wow. So I, I remember looking that up, that, that specific fact back in the 90s, and it was mm-hmm. like, Mega Man has om- over 40 games. That was like 30 years ago. <laughs> that was 30 years ago. So, That's like, true. He's in a lot of games. Yeah, Google it, Eric. Google come it. on, you knew I was gonna ask. There's gotta at least be. Well, you said forty in that in 1990. Yeah, well, in 1990 something. I don't remember when I whenever the internet was around. Gotta at least be like 60. Okay, there are over 130 titles in the Mega Man series. 130. Yeah. Wow. So well, I, did, like, I did not know that. So is there just like a bunch of like mobile games out there, like yeah. oh, one yeah. off, like just computer games. There's and like stuff. Mega Man Soccer. There's oh I, yeah, I remember oh. just like weird spin off games for Mega and Man. It, and talk about the whole like series of series for a second, like like Star Trek. There is Mega Man the classic series. Yeah. Then there's Mega Man X, which has got yeah. ten games. Mm-hmm. Mega Man Legends, Mega Man Zero, Mega Man Zero ZX. Yeah. Gotcha. ZX its own yeah. thing. And then, like, a couple others I'm forgetting. Mega like, Man Battle Network. Oh, yeah. That's a that's huge That's got, series. like, ten games. Yeah. There's a lot. <laughs> wow. But it's been dead for the past ten years or so. Oh, yeah. my gosh. I never would have guessed that many. That is just, so, whoa. <laughs> early fun fact. All right. Fun All right. fact. Okay, so the first Mega Man game did not have any influence from the fans, but the second game did. Ooh. I don't know if you guys knew this. There was a Japanese magazine that had like a thing where you could write in and submit your boss master or your robot master designs. Cool. So director Akira Kitamura wanted to get ideas from players to put them in. Capcom received 8,370 boss submissions for this game. Whoa. Although even the final designs were kind of tweaked by Mm -hmm. uh, Inafune. Oh, yeah, of course. I mean, you can't let the people have all the power. They're not the experts. You are. (laughs) What do you think? What kind of boss would you have sent in? Uh, So I'm going to, there's going to be a fun fact. I'm going to, I'm going to show you some of the designs. Okay. I actually have to go back and grab the switch since it's on the actual Mega Man collection. Okay. But yeah, that'll be, that'll be later. All Um, right. I'm excited about this. (laughs) I'm excited about this. So. A second difficulty setting was added for the North American release. The original version was labeled difficult and the, a normal setting was created that made the arm cannon and boss weapons more powerful. <laughs> so, so that's the easy American version. Yeah, that's the, funny. the normal version is the easy American version. Nice. So, I, so I appreciate the normal version. <laughs> it's, it, it's side fact. It's, it's hilarious to me how Japanese like... Game developers changed games for Americans. Mm-hmm. The Super Nintendo was originally like, or the Super Famicom in Japan was originally really flat. <laughs> and I, apparently they were like, they were afraid that American kids would put soda cans on top of the oh, game no. console. <laughs> so like, we should make the game more curved so that like the can, they don't put the cans on. That's and so, so the Super Nintendo was like changed so, that we would, so the kids wouldn't do that. <laughs> That's really they did fun. not have a lot of faith in us, I just have to say. <laughs> no, they really didn't. So let's talk about that video game cover art. Veteran video game cover illustrator Mark Erickson painted the North American box art, which included Mega Man firing a pistol instead of his trademark Mega Buster. Oh, no. Uh, Erickson explained that he was unfamiliar with the game and was directed by the Capcom America creative team to give Mega Man a pistol. Oh, okay. So that's why he has a pistol. <laughs> Right. Because I guess maybe the North American or the American Capcom team didn't really know much about Mega Man either. And the the box art for Mega Man 2 is like notoriously bad. Oh, God. It's but terrible. not as notoriously bad as Mega Man 1. <laughs> that which is, is so like, bad. Which is yeah. like stupid. Terrible. Like stupid. Like, it's like cheesy... Cheesy 80s, like, just brilliance. Yeah, like in Mega Man 1, it's like <laughs> they gave him this yellow costume and gave him a gun and made him, like, kind of fat and made him really grumpy and, like, made him, like, <laughs> middle-aged. I, I think I have seen that artwork. And like, the meme was so popular that they were going to bring it back for a canceled Mega Man game called Mega Man Universe. Oh, yeah. In 2010. I, ha- I have it didn't, seen It this. didn't happen. <laughs> and I think there was some game on Xbox that, like, some, like, some other Capcom fighting game where they actually brought... They actually called him Bad Box Art Mega Man. <laughs> and he's like this dopey middle-aged fat guy yeah. with a gun. 
um, Eric brought it up on his phone so I could see oh. it. It looks nothing like what Mega Man looks like. <laughs> oh, yeah, nothing. that's it. And the whole thing it's was like, like he's a... in the, the city of Monsteropolis. <laughs> yes. Like, that is not part of Meg- Monsteropolis was not part of it at all. <laughs> That's so bad. But the box art for Mega Man 2 was bad, but marginally better. (laughs) Yeah. (laughs) All right. So the soundtrack for Mega Man 2 was composed by Takashi Tatashi, with the original Mega Man composer uh, Manami Matsume included for having her work on the credits theme and for... Oh, it was a chick? The the original Mega Man... Girl power. uh, (laughs) The original uh, composer was a chick, yeah. For the original game. Well, she was promoted to the arcade division because, you know, the arcade cabinets were making more money than the oh, console yeah, games at then. the time. The arcades were the place to be. So Tatashi's musical background was unusual compared to his contemporaries at Capcom and that he had not been classically trained, but was instead drawing on his experience of performing in a band. So he nice. sought to uh, consciously move away from the more classical sounding themes that were common at the time. Cool. So does it sound, it sounds kind of like rockin', yeah, like, like a rock like band. Yeah, rock. Because Rock Man was all about like, hey, this soundtrack's got to be rock and roll. It's got to be driving cool. and catchy. Yeah. And I still think of all the Nintendo games, like Mega Man's got the best soundtrack. Yeah. Arguably, I mean, Mario is good, but like Mega Man mm-hmm. beats it. Castlevania might be a Oh man, Castlevania is really good Those too. are great too, but yeah. I think Mega Man's got like the best music. Yeah, it's got some of the best tracks, I think. So Tatashi's initial compositions for the game were of varying moods, with some of them being considered too cute by Kitamura, uh, requesting them to be changed to fit in with the rest of the soundtrack. Tatashi has indicated that no one has the earlier softer score. <laughs> Not even him? Stylistically, the score was influenced by the bands Meze Forte and the Yellow Magic Orchestra. Oh, I cool. did not know that. But yeah, so there is a softer, I guess, original soundtrack that he, I guess he had to go back and recompose some tracks. Mm-hmm. Wow. They yeah. weren't hardcore enough. And I think the one, <laughs> the one track that kind of survived that was Crash Man. Crash Man. Yeah. I knew, I knew this one. Cool. Yeah. Because it has kind of that lighter mood to it. Mm-hmm. It's like the silliest, campiest song in the soundtrack. <laughs> I really li- I really like Crash Man just because it's so different from the other ones. Oh, yeah. It, yeah. it fits in. It's got the same sound font. The same energy, but yeah. the rest of it's rocking. And this one's kind of more of a, hey, let's relax and have a fun time kind of a song. <laughs> Even though it's one of the harder levels, right? Oh, yeah. Those fucking birds. That... <laughs> yeah, God. Sorry for dropping F-bombs, but <laughs> no they're problem. dropping egg bombs. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> they deserve it. <laughs> That's right. So Mega Man 2 was a huge success since its 1988 release. Mega Man 2 has sold over 1.5 million copies worldwide. The game is the second highest selling Mega Man game in the series and Capcom's 58th highest selling game overall, which isn't that great. <laughs> well, that's a, I mean, they ha- that just is like shows how many games they have. Yeah, that's, yeah. The, Capcom has a ton of games. Can you guess <laughs> what is the highest selling Mega Man game in the series? Oh, I was going to say Capcom. So, um, so Mega Man 2 is number two. Okay. What's the highest? Maybe the Mega Man X? No. I'm, I'm going to say Mega Man 9. Nope. The highest is Mega Man 11, huh? which is most recent one. <laughs> okay. Well, that, that, that's, that's wonderful and upsetting because <laughs> that wonderful. game came out like five years ago and we haven't seen anything Mega Man since. So yeah. It was groundbreaking, but not enough to make you want to make more games. So. Yeah. It's, Yet. Maybe. I don't know. <laughs> I don't know. That's so weird. surprising. That's, that's surprising. All right. So are you guys ready for some fun facts? Hopefully this oh, time yeah. you don't pre-ruin any of these other ones <laughs> Fun fact. <laughs> you guys already ruined some of them so i'll start with the most known fun fact mega man fun fact out there mega man is blue because that color has the most shades in the nintendo 56 color palette and that selection was used to enhance mega man's detail so they're the most shades of blue mm-hmm. so that's why mega man is blue and yeah. i think we had this as a fun fact on our uh Instagram. On our TikTok. Or, or t- oh. TikTok, one of Fun the social media. Friday, when yeah. I used to do those. I might bring those back. Bring them back. <laughs> but yeah, you guys probably already knew that, right? Mm-hmm. Yeah, Eric, we knew that. <laughs> well, yeah, everyone knows that, Eric. Everyone knows that. Come on. <laughs> Maybe the audience didn't. I don't know. Okay, so the game's three support items, items one, two, and three, were added to aid the players because of complaints from consumers and Capcom's marketing department uh, regarding the original game's high difficulty. 
So I guess they were uh, play testing it, and they're like, "Yeah, this game's way too hard." I don't know how you would get past some of those <laughs> parts without the one, two, and three. They, I think they went back and added some obstacles that were specifically designed. Oh, that. okay. I think I'm this like, was during development. Yeah, I'm like, there's definitely some jumps that you cannot make without those. <laughs> yeah. I know Mega Man's notorious for some of those jumps where, like, it's hard to describe it in words, but where you have to kind of, like, jump, and there's a ceiling above you, and you kind of go to the right, then hang left, oh my God, and jump, yes. and then go back, and, like... It's, like, two blocks on top of each other, so you have to, like, go like, out and in, like a C yes, movement. Yes, and, Things people would uh, not, not normally do. It's so hard. It is so yeah. hard. Especially with those old malfunctioning like <laughs> controllers from like the NES. Yeah. I'm yeah. Sure it was Which is why hard. like we won't get into Mega Man three and beyond, but like, why the rush dog adapter <laughs> items came to so oh, like, yeah. why those came about later. Alright, so this is the only Mega Man game to have an overall theme for all the boss designs and even the final boss. What? What do you guys think the theme is? Theme. Aliens. <laughs> You are a hundred percent correct. Oh, no, what? I was gonna say like <laughs> what? <laughs> what? <laughs> yeah, I, I was gonna say like industrial. <laughs> industrial. I don't know. <laughs> well, yeah. No, the uh, you're the, kidding, right? I was I was kidding around. No, you are correct. Yeah. What? The theme for the boss is is alien. Well, because the final final boss is like I mean, a yeah, wily the, alien. The the final boss is an alien, but I mean, did you realize is. that also all the Many bosses are kind of designed with that theme of alien in mind. I mean, you got no. dragons and walls and guts, man. Like, those aren't aliens. Like, no, I, I did not realize that. <laughs> what? I was kidding. Wait, guts, man? No, that's not. No, this is just Mega Man 2 boss. Yeah, yeah, but he comes back in Mega Man 2 as a tank. Like, oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Well, I didn't get that far. <laughs> I, I said, I was talking about actually the mini bosses and the final boss, not not the Wily stage bosses. Oh, not the Wily. Mm. Okay, the mini. Hmm. So, so, like, so think of like man, so think of Air Heat man, man think of Air Man like Bubble Man eh, Bubble Man maybe oh, so, yeah. <laughs> well tell me tell tell us more I don't know huh. yeah so that was it that was a fun fact <laughs> uh, that's it <laughs> is that all the fun they were facts? aliens because no, no, they were more. aliens okay. and they were aliens because they were aliens don't question it too mm. much so did you guys know in the stage select screen if the player holds the A button and chooses a stage the stars that or behind the presentation of the boss will turn into little peepees, little birds. What? Tell us more about little peepees, Eric. <laughs> little peepees? <laughs> yeah, little peepees? Yeah, they turn into little peepees. <laughs> yeah. I guess that little bird is called peepee. Oh, okay. I tested this on the Switch version as well. It totally works. Nice. <laughs> so, yes. It's yeah, a, I didn't know that. Yeah, still, still a thing. All little right. peepees. It's true. It's, it's mm-hmm. fucking true. Okay, so my next fun fact, there are some mini boss designs that didn't make the cut. <laughs> some would be used later down the line, but I want you guys to judge and see if you like any of these. Okay. All right. They're actually included in the Mega Man collection. Oh, no way. So we have Barga Man. Barga okay. Man? Bar- bargain Man? Barga. Like, Bar- what's a Barga? <laughs> this is a good question. I don't know what a Barga <laughs> is. I don't know what a Barga is either. I know what a bargain is. <laughs> we have okay. Boomerang Man. Oh, oh yeah. Wait, okay. does he not like come back later or something? He though? looks like Quick Man, right? Yeah. yeah. He does yeah, look he familiar. Sure does. Yeah, he looks like Quick Man. He has like a cool V thing on We got head. Alternative Bubble Man. We got Drill Man. We will oh. see him in Mega Man 4. Yeah. Drill Man, he has a drill on his head. We got Elephant Borg. Oh, that's way different. Oh, we'll see him in Mega Man X. As, really? Um, you know, elephant. He doesn't look like any. <laughs> he doesn't look like any other characters from the game. We got Green Man. Green wait, Man. Just, just green. Let me see. Wait, wait, wait. Let me, let me get closer. So he has a cool axe. He that's, looks like he looks like Gemini cool. Man from uh, Mega Man Three. Oh yeah. Maybe they just does. used all these characters later. They were like, you know what? Yeah, they came back. Here's a good one. Hornet Man. Holy nice. shit! Really? Mega Man Nine. Right? He looks. He looks way different. Cool. But yeah, Mega Man Nine. His helmet kind of looks wow. like the helmet from uh, your new tattoo. Oh, yeah. Nice. Iron Man. Oh. Okay. Kong Man. Donkey oh, Kong. wow. What? That's terrible. That's, terrible. that's his, the worst one. His whole entire body is like Light a Man. Light Man's cool. Maybe All potentially right. like Bright Man. That could be a yeah, thing. Yeah, that yeah. Should like be a Bright thing. Man. Light Man, Bright Man. We can show the pictures later. Yeah. But there's always like 
an ice boss, a yeah. fire mm-hmm. boss, a water boss, air some boss, some kind of like blade or, okay. or sword or, yeah. or weapon. You know, I'll just do the remaining ones really quick. Plus man, power man, pump man, shout man, sounder man, water man, faucet and, man, faucet man. And I'll show pump you. Pump man came back in Mega Man Ten, by the way, in like 2012, 11. And then real quick, wind man and more man. Yeah. Okay. So awesome. most of those, well, half of those came back in later games. Yeah, I mean, Wind Man, I think uh, Drill Man, yeah. uh, Hornet Man. Yeah, yeah a lot it of sounds them. like they just like were like, hey, we already designed these characters. We might as well not put any more effort into designing <laughs> new ones. <laughs> and I, I got to touch on this, and maybe it's coming, maybe it's not, but like you mentioned that those kids that entered the contest to design their own Robot Masters. Yeah. There was one kid, because they did like, all right, design your own Robot Master, submit for this magazine, and maybe we'll use your boss. Mm-hmm. And they did it like three or four times. One kid won twice. He won what? for Mega Man 4 and 6. That kid's or four lucky. Or 5. And that kid designed Crystal Man from Mega Man 5. And I think Skull Man from Mega Man 4. Nice. Oh, nice. And that kid went on to make an anime and a, ma- and a manga called One Punch Man. Oh, yeah. I heard about that. Oh, wow. Yeah. Cool. The, the yeah. fucking designer of that, so, like when he was a kid, when he was a child, made those characters. Yeah. Yeah. As, as part of a contest. Yeah, that's That amazing. blew my mind. I was like, I thought I knew everything about Mega Man, and I learned mm-hmm. that, and I was like, oh my God. <laughs> that's crazy. So there was a Mega Man cartoon that came out in 1994, mm-hmm. although it was canceled after only two 13-episode seasons. Me and Nikki watched the first episode the other day. I know Very 90s. Nikki's new favorite cartoon. Oh, yeah. Uh, did you watch much of the Mega Man cartoon, Michael? I had the first. Oh, I, no, I had it holding on DVD. <laughs> of course you did. <laughs> yeah. And uh, one of the worst episodes ever was Curse of the Lion Men, where Dr. Wily used a magic spell to turn humanity into lions. <laughs> Just something that would not happen in Mega Man. Like, what? He's yeah. like, oh, I know I'm a, a robot scientist, but let me use a magical spell to create <laughs> lion people. That checks out. Yeah. And that was part of the joke that turned into like the whole joke about Revenge of the Moon Scorpions, which we ended up using in our band. Oh, uh, yeah. <laughs> okay. And my final fun fact, one of the staples of the Mega Man series is a long tunnel leading into the boss room. The tunnel is there to separate the programming for the level and the programming for the boss allowing a seamless transition without taxing the machine's sparse amount of memory. Eventually, it just became a series staple. So there was actually an original reason for, ha- for having that tunnel between the level and the boss. I guess I really never considered that a tunnel, but I guess it is. It's Dude, like a check... I it's like yeah. I thought of it like a checkpoint tunnel. Yeah, a checkpoint. Something. I never... Yeah. In Mega Man 1, it's like three or four screens of like you're walking through a tunnel, mm-hmm. and the, there might be an enemy or two, but it's pretty quiet. And yeah. then... And then it, from two on, it's always just one screen. Just, the one just kind of like gate, rectangle. Chink, 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 and then gate. And you know, like, all right, yeah, it's yeah. on. It's like, like, the, like the boss is hard enough. We don't need to make it a little precursor <laughs> yeah, stage. Yeah, like you don't need that. <laughs> so let's trim some fat. Yeah. All right. So those are my fun facts. That's cool. awesome. That's, that's cool. Yeah. Good job. I, I do have some history if you want to talk about it. Yeah, yeah. <clears throat> let's do that. Back when I was in middle school, I used to go to church. Uh, that's great. We had a computer in part of the Sunday school room. <laughs> and this is like for me middle school late 90s early 2000s mm-hmm. so like there was a new thing called emulators yeah and with an emulator you can emulate a game that you don't Ooh. own so I was like oh I don't even have to buy a Mega Man I could like bring an emulator with some ROM files and for anyone who doesn't know a ROM R-O-M is like read only memory and basically it's just like a copy of a game mm-hmm. yeah even if you didn't buy the game oh yeah and I so I had all the Mega Man games on the on the church computer like in the, in the <laughs> Sunday school day. and it was awesome and the, in the and I was like probably 11 and these kids were like 7 or 8 and they're mm-hmm. like oh it's Mega Man it's cool and I got in huge trouble oh I bet and they were like you brought a game <laughs> where a man has a gun and shoots people and I was like no no it's a robot he shoots robots this is against God, and I, I got in big trouble. And, yeah, oh wow. my and so God. they they deleted it. And they made, they, wa- they made me watch him delete the files, Aww. and I was like traumatized. I was like, Oh Mega, no, Mega Man is a sin. <laughs> Maybe I don't want to go to church anymore. <laughs> that was so. Me. I don't know. Sorry to bring to bring it up, but that was a that ha- oh, that God. happened, and, uh, you and know. that was the last time Michael ever went to church. <laughs> You're going to have to choose between the Lord and Mega Man. <laughs> it's Mega Man or God. Um, peace. <laughs> oh, my God. Peace so, out, guys. But, yeah, that is kind of traumatic. So that was a shocking moment. Um, oh, my God. Also, some other fun history facts. 
I don't like to like pirate games and like download games, but I, I've actually paid for and bought this game on Nintendo Entertainment System, also the GameCube Anniversary Collection, the Wii Virtual Console, <laughs> Wii U Virtual Console, Nintendo Switch, PS4, <laughs> And the PC. So I've like bought Jeez, these games. Yeah. So I'm always like, let me support the series that I love so mm-hmm. much. So I'm always supporting it, supporting it. So if I've downloaded it wrong. I didn't know they had it on PlayStation. Yeah, That's you don't. Interesting. Oh, yeah. You don't, so I like, I've supported this game. I mean, you can legally own a ROM that you own the game for. I mean, yeah, 100%. Not, yeah. Mm-hmm. Like you're supposed to own the, the, the original. But I'm always like, let me support it. Like, let me breathe life into the series. Let's, let's <laughs> keep it going. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, and that that's pretty much it for my uh, history. Yeah, that's awesome. And we talked about the tattoos already. We didn't, no. Yeah, we kind of did. Oh, yeah. So Eric and I have got, not matching tattoos, but Eric and I got tattoos together. Both of Mega Man. We yeah. did talk Sh- about it. Okay. Shout out to Kelly Allen, you know, the tattoo artist. Mm-hmm. This is this would have been like 2012 or so. And yeah, we, we both got ago. Mega Man tattoos. on our, yeah. uh, Both on our you left You have arm. the pixelated version of Mega Man. I have the... <laughs> the death screen from one of the Mega Mans with the skull added in yeah. the helmet. Yeah. That you've seen so many times. Yeah. <laughs> and uh, we already talked about, did we talk about Drink Man? Not really. No, but yeah, we made a uh, we made a college drinking game because, of course, we, when we were in college, that's what you did. And the rules were pretty harsh. It was every time you took damage, you had to take a drink. Every time you could count up to 10 drinks before you actually had to stop to take the drinks. <laughs> every time you beat a boss, you had to take three drinks. Every time you died, you have to uh, take three drinks. And then if you ever used an energy pack, you had to sit there and shout <laughs> while your energy was coming back. It was like, we played that. Yeah, we, oh my we, God. We played that for years. Oh, it yeah. was like the game. You How could did get, you guys not just get wasted? You could get through one Mega Man game, probably. Sometimes two. Sometimes like. two. <laughs> but yeah, Even it was... Even if you're good, it was brutal. a lot of drinking. Yeah, it's... Because I used to for like... For me, that's like blackout, not remember the day. Because if you're also drink. racing, you're also like... So yeah, we're also racing the game. So you're you know you're taking damage and stuff because you're trying to get through as fast as possible. Mm-hmm. And sometimes it is easier just to take a hit rather than trying to like shoot an enemy. Yeah. And just yeah, you're like, all right, that's just the one drink. <laughs> but I would like we would play, and I, I used to play with like shout out to my brothers John Cardinal, Larry Cardinal, and then uh, Andy Dowell, who you mm-hmm. guys know. Oh yeah. And we yeah. would like freaking play this game, and we like you know, but we wouldn't drink. And then you and I, Eric, played. <laughs> oh, and yeah. like, I was and we, the drinking And we guy. had beer. Yeah. We're like, we can add drinking rules to this. <laughs> and so that's when, like, Drink Man was born. Yeah. And then later, we actually hacked a game. Like, hacked Mega Man 7. Yeah, we made a ROM, a graphics hack of Mega Man 7, which is a weird demake of Mega Man 7. It was like someone yeah. turned it to the 8-bit graphics or something. It was kind of weird, and but we really cool. we hack the graphics and make our own, like... Instead of Didn't a, you give him like a little beer shooter thing? Yeah, yeah he, he shot out beer cans. Instead of the Mega Blaster. We yeah. added an idle animation where he would take like a sip of beer. It's just like <laughs> we changed all the robot masters to ridiculous just characters from other games. Like and stuff. instead of Spring Man, it was uh, Michelangelo from Ninja Turtles. Nice. And he had like Jägermeister and Red Bull and he oh, no. mixed them together and then drank them and started bouncing around. <laughs> oh my God. I think, and, oh, I think my favorite was um, Doc from Punch Out. Oh, he, <laughs> it was, uh, he would like chug 10 beers and then get on a bicycle and get really mad. <laughs> he was, uh, we called him DUI man. But he, <laughs> yeah, DUI man. And he'd ride his bicycle towards you at full speed. Oh, God. Yeah. But then, okay, I think my favorite was the Dr. Mario one. It was the Dr. Mario virus on a cloud. It was supposed to be cl- oh, Cloud yeah, Man. Oh, yeah, yeah, Cloud Man. <laughs> and instead, like, the whole level was, like, Dr. Mario themed with like, all the viruses around. <laughs> that sounds kind of awesome. Yeah. Actually. That was yeah. fun. It was, it was, uh... Do we still have that anywhere? I've got it. Yeah. Oh. Like, posted on the internet anywhere? Yeah, yeah, we, we got pictures. We got the whole game. I got the whole thing. Nice. No, I mean, like, anywhere where people can currently download it if they wanted to download it. Okay, so no, but we can put it out there. We could yeah. add it to our website if we needed to. Yeah, yeah. All right, should we move uh, on to the pros yeah. and cons now? Let's do it. Yeah, let's do it. Well, that. if you guys have any cons. <laughs> but we'll start with the good. I'll go first because, you know, you guys have talked a lot already. <laughs> you knew this was going to happen. It yeah. was like, this is why we didn't do this for episode one. Exactly. I really like the music. We already talked about the music a little bit in the history, but I think the the music for this is really catchy. It goes along with, like, the levels really well. And... It's, like, catchy, but it's not annoying to where you want to put the game on mute. You know, like, I've played other games where it's, like, 
I'm tired of this song. <laughs> you know, yeah. I'm tired of this music. Let me just play it on mute, put my own music on the in the background. But for this one, I think it works really well with everything. And none of the levels usually take you that long to be, unless you're me. So, it's like, <laughs> you know, not enough time to get annoyed with yeah. it, really. That's one of the things I really look forward to when I play Mega Man is just jamming out to the tunes and... They're so good, especially in Mega Man 2. These are like some of my favorite songs. I would like to give a shout out to Bit Brigade. <laughs> oh, <laughs> because yeah. Because they're a really cool band that plays the soundtracks to video games while someone speed runs the video game. Like, and they play like in conjunction with each other. And, and they do Mega Man all the time. Oh, yeah. Like as a part of their Yeah, they do, a, they do a lot of classic games. I think they have a concert coming up, right? They sure do. Yeah, and they play all over the country. Like mm-hmm. they're, they're like pretty prevalent now, but like check out Bit Brigade. They're from Athens, Georgia. They mm-hmm. play all over Atlanta, Southeast, yeah. all over the country now. Yeah, yeah. those guys but are they amazing. They do Mega Man all the time. If, yeah. you, if you love Some Mega Man, hits. definitely check yeah. them out. For me, like one of the things I loved about the game was the weapons. And for me, like that was the thing that separated Mega Man from Mario. Mario yeah. was a, a like a great series of games, but it was always like, you only had like two or three things. Like you could get like the Fire Flower, eventually you could get like the Raccoon Tail. And but some other you things. really couldn't interchange them like you do in Mega Man, yeah. where it's like mid game, mid level. I mean, you can switch out between whatever exactly. you've earned already. Mega Man, you had like a full arsenal of weapons. And that was like just incredible to me as a kid. Yeah. And then Mega Man 2 has, to me, some of the most fun weapons to use. They have Metal Blade, which is just ridiculously overpowered. (laughs) Yeah. You know, you have like Air Shooter, Atomic Fire, just like these really good weapons in certain situations. And then even you have like the Flash, which is utility and bubble, which Mm -hmm. can find like hidden pits and stuff like that. It definitely like plays a lot into the strategy because like switching out between weapons is super important for getting past like certain things. You yeah. Know? Yeah. Using um, the weapons will make the obstacles much easier in some situations. Yeah. I feel like Mega Man probably gets compared to Mario a lot because they're both 8 bit side scroller early like adventure platforming games. Yeah. But, you know, I think Mega Man did realize hey, we've got to differentiate ourselves from them or else we're just going to be. Mega Mario Brothers over here, you know what I mean? <laughs> so they did a really good job of like not making their game as like linear, you know? You don't have to play levels one, two, three, four. You get to play it in whatever order you want. And that plays yeah. into like having weapons for certain levels and, and it's this, just so much bigger than Yeah. To this what day, you think. if I ever play a game it's like, all right, it's like select your level. I was thinking, oh, it's like Mega Man. Mm-hmm. Yeah, I think of Mega Man as being the first popular game that was like select your level, where you get to choose what you want to do first. Because that was yeah. like not a thing back then. You what know? other games? I can't think of like any other ones where you really get to do that. A lot after, but before that, yeah. I mean, there, there might have been some for sure. But that's like mm-hmm. that's got to be inspired by some of their arcade games, like maybe uh, so, yeah, where you could like select a level or something like that. Mm-hmm. But it was because like, you know you'd you'd play a, a game a level over and over again and get frustrated. Like let me yeah. try a different level. And you, yeah. could, you could do that. It was and like, are all the Mega Man games like that, where you get to switch out between your different weapons? That almost you've earned, all. You know? Yeah, pretty yeah. much all. All the, the 2D games, for the most part, but not every one. Yeah. Some of them change it up. Some of them like start throwing in like an intro level, and some sometimes they'll like break up the boss, yeah. bosses into like groups of four, which is kind of okay. weird. I never really liked when they did that, where they <laughs> yeah. started breaking up the bosses. Yeah, I don't know. I agree. Well, something you like, Michael? Well, probably a lot of things. Yeah, but. so pros and cons. So yeah. well, like, just pros for now. Yeah. Level variety. You know, you always have a fire level, an ice level. Like, yeah. you get yeah. tired of one, you get to switch to another one. I, always I, loved- ha- I have that on here, too. I like how the boss, each boss has, like, a theme, and the level goes with that theme. Like, you have Heat Man, and there's lots of fire and lava, you know, and you yeah. have Air Man, and it all takes place in the air and the sky. Like, it like, usually makes sense. Sometimes yeah. it's, like, not. Like, in later games, it's like, <laughs> Top Man. Okay, now you're in a weird glass uh, greenhouse with yeah. plants. <laughs> what does it do with spitting tops? Like, I don't know. Yeah. But we're talking about Mega Man 2, so I yeah. feel like for this game... It, it it's very relevant that. and it's yeah. like it fits and they're they're all different. Yeah, mm-hmm. one like one of my favorites is just Crash Man's uh, level just because you oh, start yeah. off during the day and then you end up climbing this like ridiculously tall tower and then it's like 
starry at night. It's like, I don't know, just a really cool transition from like kind of day to night and mm-hmm. stuff. I don't know. I, I yeah. always like that. That was, that was like, yeah, you feel like the day is past. Yeah. So for me, one of the reasons I always like to over some of the later Mega Man games is just the simplicity of the controls. You don't have charge shots. You're not constantly having to hold down another button. You don't have the slide yet, which never really added much. The dash added a lot, but the slide never really did it much for me. But you still have your items, which can add the puzzle solving element to the game. It's simple, but not too simple. I don't know. It's a good balance. Like to me, I feel like some of the later Mega Man games kind of fall into this pit where they just, they try to throw too much at you. And I always just appreciate sometimes just something like really simple. Yeah. Not everything has to be complicated. (laughs) Yeah. What about you, Nikki? Well, this is like specifically for the Switch version, I guess. But they added like a save feature so you can pretty much save at any point in time and you can like load the save point at any point in time. (laughs) So if you're dying a lot like me, like I would just save after pretty much any good chunk that I got past (laughs) because I was just like, I'm probably going to die soon and let me not have to redo that part that I just did. But I don't think that you guys had that luxury, right, when you're playing Not it. as a kid. <laughs> yeah. And it was still nice. The password system was, was wild. Yeah. Like, how, no, did, how does the password system work? I didn't use it on this because I didn't have to. It would be like A through E and 1 through 6 or something like so that. So you just and have like a notebook? Red or... and blue dots. And you had to yeah. memorize the pattern. Or write them or, down. Or write them down. Yeah. And you draw yeah. a picture and you like, you know, and then... It'd help you get back because we didn't have memory cards back then or save, yeah. save files. So. Yeah. It was so hard back in the day. Was something else you like, Michael? Probably the best song in, in any video game ever was Dr. Wily's Fortress theme number one. Oh, yeah. So the first Wily <laughs> level. Yeah. <laughs> it was like when you first heard it as a kid, you're like, Okay, it's on. <laughs> like, yeah. You're like, all I'm right. Pumped. We, you're, you're fully stocked. You have every weapon and you're like, the game's gonna be yeah and you're just like running towards wiley's fortress and having to climb up those initial like barriers and stuff item one item two item three bubble (laughs) and then that that first boss like you're fighting you're fighting that like ridiculously huge dragon yeah you fight a dragon it's like you're fighting robots and then suddenly it's a dragon yeah yeah. oh and it's a robotic dragon world is oh okay yeah but still it's and he's like it's hard yeah he takes up like half the screen he's like gigantic like it's amazing wow. and it's like i played this game last night just to mm-hmm. like all right let me just make sure i'm still like up on everything <laughs> and i still died that dragon it's he's hard yeah he's, it's he hard. is hard that little platforming section where he's chasing you god man that's, that's tough <laughs> oh man that sounds really hard i didn't make it that far but you know <laughs> maybe one day maybe one day <laughs> So yeah, I always love the different mini bosses in the Mega Man games and trying to figure out like the pattern of what worked on what. Mm -hmm. Like when you were a kid, you know, it was always more like the schoolyard talk because you didn't have the internet to look stuff up. So you just had to like talk to the other uh, kids to try to like figure out how to beat this game. (laughs) But So you're all on the playground like, okay, did you finally beat Air Man? Yeah, I used Flash Man's thing to get past all this stuff but, but, or like whatever. Yeah, there's always some weapons that like it makes sense. It works on the boss. And then there are some like you're like, what? For example, like bubble working on heat. Like, OK, yeah, water puts out fire. So and then, okay. So yeah. we didn't talk about this, but like the original idea, Rock Man is like yeah, rock and roll, right? Mm-hmm. But it's also rock, paper, scissors. Oh, yeah. Mm-hmm. I should have mentioned that. Yeah. Too. The yeah. idea of like. You know, everyone knows rock, paper, scissors. Like, oh, that rock. one thing beats another thing. Yeah. That yeah. Circles and, around and beats that. And so thing. everything has yeah. a weakness and everything works in something. So mm-hmm. nothing is fully weak or fully strong. Everything has a weakness and a, and a strength. Yeah. yeah. And so you knew that, like, every weapon was, like, mm-hmm. useful in some way. Except Metal Blade, which is useful on just about everything in the game. It's, like, yeah. <laughs> it's the OG OP. Yeah. The original <laughs> gangster overpowered <laughs> It was so Go overpowered. I love that weapon. That's what makes the game so fun. Generally. Also, you know. did you know if you use Metal Blade on Metal Man, he dies in one hit? Yeah. Oh, well, that's funny. You can only do that like uh, you have a boss rush at the very end of the game where you have to fight all eight robot masters what? again. Oh, my gosh. Yeah. But, I mean, they're easier this time yeah. because you have all their the weapons that work on them. Yeah. I like how, like, every level has different enemies. Like, there's not any repeated enemies from like the well maybe in the dr wiley levels when the things come back or whatever but for the main eight robots 
Uh, like there a are, lot of the enemies don't really repeat that much or uh, if they do it's not that much yeah you know? i think of like the sniper joes and the armor and the little uh what's the little helmet guys the new york mets <laughs> <laughs> wait the what else are so, they in the well, little like, helmets so like, like the mets i don't know why they call them the mets cause <laughs> oh, the yeah. new, york, the yeah, new york mets which is a baseball yeah. team yeah but like oh, it, like short for helmets <laughs> I get it. Yeah, helmets. Yeah. Yeah. But oh, yeah. in like Mega Man One, they're in Guts Man stage. Mm-hmm. In Mega Man Two, they're in Crash Man stage. Yeah. And every Mega Man and Mega Man X game, and I think other Mega Man games, it's like a tradition that, that there's got to be a little tiny helmet guy who <laughs> but, opens his helmet and shoots. Uh, but for these statue. eight in this game, is the helmet guy in any other levels? Maybe Woodman. No. No, because that's what I'm Wiley. talking about. Just this game, like yeah, I don't see I don't a lot so. of the enemies. Yeah, they don't. There are over. a few. There are a yeah. few that repeat, like the uh, armors, like the sniper joes and the armor or whatever. The like they're in Flash Man and um, Quick Man and some of the other stages. Yeah, this is a but couple. it's definitely not as but, much as like Mario, where it's like okay, oh, yeah. you always have Goombas, you always have like yeah. you know, yeah, certain things like in that's every true. level. You know, it's like more of a variety. Yeah, I there's guess. definitely like unique enemies in each yeah level. and all the enemies are different you can't just like jump on these enemies you have to use different weapons to oh, totally. kill them and stuff yeah. so like i think that's another way that they kind of differentiate themselves from super mario brothers yeah absolutely, absolutely. Jinx. <laughs> jinx all right uh did you have any you guys have anything else no, no other pros. I've got uh, a cons list. Just all Ooh. the good memories that y'all have had. <laughs> That's a right. pro. Let's you know? start with you. I think you have quite a few cons, Nikki. Okay, really? My number one con. This is a very common thing for games made back then. So I get it. But because you didn't have that much space for a game, you had to pretty much make it hard or else people would beat it too fast, right? If you're paying like $60 for a game, you want more than probably an hour's worth of (laughs) gameplay. And so when you don't have the luxury of having enough space to like tell a story and all this stuff, you know, with these earlier platforming games, they had to make it hard or else you would beat it too fast. That's absolutely true. So a lot of them are just hard because yeah, they, yeah. Otherwise it'd be over so quick. Yeah. So for me personally, that's not my preferred game type. <laughs> I understand, though, when you guys were playing this, you literally had no other choice. <laughs> yeah. That's so what you thought Mega so, Man 2 was, was hard. Yeah. Oh, yeah. I think it's hard for okay. sure. Yeah, yeah, yeah. The platforming is super hard. You have to be really precise. Like, if you're off just a little tiny millimeter, you know, like with your jumps, you're dying. <laughs> Yeah, so for me, this game is really hard. I also haven't obviously played it as as much as y'all have. Right, right. That's true. But um, it was probably hard when y'all first yeah. played it, yeah. too. It's, to me, like, one of the things I appreciate with, like, the Legacy Collection is you can use save states. And that really helps the frustration factor on some of these old games. Oh, like, yeah. Like, so much. If I didn't have the save states... I don't know if I would have gotten through like one level, to be <laughs> honest with you. Because I just, I'm a very clumsy person. Hand eye coordination, not my strongest suit. So, like, really hard platforming. I can do it if I put in a lot of time and effort, but it's not something that just comes like easy and naturally to me. You know, like it, it might come to that's, other people that's why there's the normal mode as opposed exactly. to the difficult mode <laughs> yeah i don't think i will i don't think i'll ever be difficult mode level Mega Man player <laughs> i don't think that's Anna, in the cards for me <laughs> my joke was that they're honestly not too different as far as the actual platforming goes what's like, the main difference it's just, just like more enemies it's just or? your mega buster does more damage and in your weapons do normal? more damage yeah oh, okay so it doesn't take as long to kill something okay and enemies react differently. So, oh, like, really? if you guys remember in Bubble Man, there's the snails in the water. Yeah. In, in normal mode, you shoot them and they die. Mm-hmm. In hard mode, you shoot them and the shell falls off. Oh. And the base yeah. gets mad and zooms towards you. And you so can't really go- hit that. On and you the- can't shoot it unless you, like, crouch gotcha. down or fall. So, like, it's hard. Or you have a weapon or something. Yeah. yeah. Oh, yeah. That's- so, it's like, it was it was tougher, you know? Yeah, yeah that sounds But harder. I, I think as a, a child, harder. for me, like, it was rare to beat any Nintendo games. Yeah. And uh, when you did, it was like, you put it, you put hours in. Yeah, because you know, yeah. they all had to be like that, you yeah. know? So, I get it, but I also don't like it that much. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, no worries. 
as far as cons go, like there aren't like a ton of cons for me in this game because like they really didn't have a lot of space to do much. Mm-hmm. My biggest con is probably Wily Stage Floor Boss. Boo Beam Trap. Boo Beam Trap. I've got a strategy about him. He, bring up. That boss is Boo Beam. terrible in my opinion. <laughs> so the only way to do damage to it is with Crash Bomber. Only way. Okay. And it takes pretty much the entire weapon bar to beat it. Which one is Crash Bomber again? It's the mines. Oh. Where you throw it, it sticks and it blows up. Oh. Like like I don't stick, think I ever grenade. used that one. <laughs> so the boss is set up where it's like all these different like lights and you have gates kind of like in front mm-hmm. of them. And it's kind of like a puzzle. Like, okay, you only have so many bombs. You have more gates than bombs to blow up. Oh, okay. So you kind of have to use like item one to get kind of, or item three to get into some of the back areas. But you really only have like maybe one extra bomb between the eight or six you have to destroy. And you can't dodge Boobeam's attack, right? It's really hard. You can time it. Really? And jump over it, I think, because it will like... But it's really hard to dodge, especially when you're trying to do the platforming. Yeah. Yeah. The reason I hate it so much is that if you mess it up and you die, like if you're just, you know, if you're not using save states, you're kind of screwed. You have to either farm energy, weapon energy, because you're going to have to... Uh, get more crash bombs because you pretty much need a full weapons bar to beat the boss. Yeah. And then you're right. It's either that, or you have to start the like game over and start the whole level over. Mm-hmm. So that's I, what do, that's, what, that's what we did. Yeah. Actually. And I, I just hate that boss so much because yeah, it just doesn't seem well designed. Like you should be able to beat to me like any boss, with just the mega buster in my opinion. All right. <laughs> that's fair. Like, just having only one weapon that works on a boss, like, it's so frustrating. Like, if you run out in the middle of the boss fight and you're just sitting there waiting to and die. And you can't replenish And there's it. no way yeah. to replenish your weapon because energy. everyone who's ever beat Mega Man 2 knows they got, like, screwed over by Boo Beam. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> like, <laughs> fuck Boo Beam. <laughs> yeah, seriously. That's the worst. Because, like, yeah, you get stuck and you're like, oh, I'm out of weapons. And then you go back, you're like, I got the game over and start over again. Yeah. Uh, so, Leia... Yeah. Playing that today kind of sucks. Yeah. But, you know, I, I mean, it can right. be really frustrating. Yeah. It's not too bad once you like know what you're supposed to do. It's true. As long as you don't screw up and die. <laughs> yeah. Once you, if you know, like, all right, don't blow up all the gates. Yeah. Some gates you can go around. Like, mm-hmm. once you know that, okay, you know, you can do it, but it, it takes screwing up once. Yeah. Yeah. At is, least once. Which is a little bit, you know, frustrating. Oh, yeah. All right. So, my cons to the game are. I've, I've only got zero cons. <laughs> no way. Only game that's perfect. <laughs> yeah, you really have zero. I've got cons? zero. I could. I was like, this is what? the perfect. It's the perfect game. Oh my it's god. It's the only game that's like. <laughs> there's nothing wrong with it. Okay. Okay. We, we I'll just, take we, it from here. We just talked about. We just talked about some things that are wrong. <laughs> but it's it's so perfect and it influenced so many games. Yeah. That like I've got nothing bad to say. It just it just it just wins. It's just perfect. Okay. I only have you know <laughs> like a like a couple more. A couple no, more. Nothing. Honestly, my main complaints aren't really the game itself as much as like some of the menu stuff. Like for me, I wish there was an option to switch through the weapons without going to that menu yeah and they do um, they do clean that up later like they get better yeah. menus as the Mega Man uh, games progress mm-hmm. and eventually you can switch weapons just with just the l and r buttons but back back in the day Mega Man only had or the nintendo only had like two buttons yeah when did this game come but out they like 80 still could something have, yeah like 88 89 yeah 89 because 88 in japan 89 oh 88 here. in japan yeah but like they still could they not have had a button that just switched through them all like rotated through like is that not a thing they could have done later it was but yeah <laughs> at that time okay yeah. so it, they you would know, eventually that's just get it but. something that annoys me but not really i guess it's not really like a complaint about the game in general it's just like i found that really you would get all this momentum going through a level you know and you're running you're being cool and stuff and then you mm-hmm. have to stop look through all the things to find the weapon you need select it and then go so just kind of like ruin the momentum you know the uh the downside of having a full arsenal of weapons (laughs) (laughs) yeah i guess back then because it's like now you have you know i play games all the time and you have a bunch of weapons and you can switch through them really really easily but i found this to be just like 
kind of hard. Yeah, that's understandable. And just the button setup in general for this game, and it might just be the Switch, but I didn't like that you had to use the select button to, like, select everything. That sounds dumb. But, like, you know, usually a lot of times on Switch games... You'll press A to select something and B to go oh, you back. Oh, mean, you mean the start button for or the, the pl- menu? The plus button to select. Yeah, yeah. I mean the plus button. So like, if you, huh. so if you're going through any menu, like if you're switching a weapon or you're going to like continue the game or go to the stage select, whatever, instead of pressing A to select something, you have to press the plus button to select it, and I think that's annoying. Yeah. Huh. It really doesn't have much to do but with the actual game. I'm just venting. I'm just <laughs> venting over here because, like, you know, it wasn't as fluid as I liked it to be. Yeah, you know, I got as you. As far as the ex- overall experience. Yeah, I went. mean, the menu was always kind of annoying, but it was kind of like <laughs> kind of a necessary evil, I guess, just because you had to, you know, yeah. you had all these weapons. Yeah. There wasn't an easy way. Even if you do get into the later games where you're cycling through them, you still have to cycle through the weapons. Like, it still takes yeah, time. I guess. Like, even I just to feel do like that. it might be faster because you just go like pew 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 <laughs> <laughs> i don't know overall i think my cons are really not that bad it's mostly just that it's hard <laughs> yeah hard and frustrating if you're a noob all <laughs> right anything else no Here? i'm good that's all i had just that one boss pretty much <laughs> all right well we can move on to strategy because i'm sure you guys have a ton of strategy my main thing is like just figuring out the easiest boss order like, uh, like oh, I said, yeah, it was harder strategy. when we were kids. Mm-hmm. It's easier now that you can look it up. But one thing that's interesting about this game is I feel like a lot of Mega Man games have like, okay, this is the boss order almost everyone does. With Mega Man 2, I feel like almost everyone has a different boss, preferred boss different order. Different strategy, yeah. And part of that... You mean yours is different than everyone else's? <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, maybe it's just me. Uh, I think part of it, though, is because the items like that you get for beating some of the bosses also play a factor in which stages you want to do. That's true. And when, Mm -hmm. so like for me, my preferred order is actually like beating the three first three bosses with the mega buster, because I like to get some of those items and have some of those weapons to use later on some of the, in some of the stages. So I'll do like air man, flash man, metal man, then bubble, then heat, and then crash wood and quick. What would you say your preferred order would be Michael. It depends on if I'm speed running or not. If yeah. you're speed running. Yeah. yeah. But normally I go for Bubble Man. He's just an easy boss to fight. First. Yeah. And I feel like whenever a new Mega Man game comes out, which is like once every 10 years now, <laughs> but it's always like the, the first, the game within a game is who's the easiest boss to fight and win? Mm-hmm. Oh, yeah. So you have some yeah. kind of power. And so you just play them all until you find who's, who's somebody that can who's beat Who's the easiest, time. yeah. And that's not always the best way, but like, so Bubble Man is always where I start. Yeah, funny story. I Bubble mean, Man was the first boss I was able to beat as a kid, which is a travesty because Bubble Man's <laughs> weapon works on Heat Man, and Heat Man stage is ridiculously hard yeah. without the uh, item two or item three. Yeah, you're right. So Unless it's like, you're really good at jumping on tiny little blocks. Unless you're really good at those memory blocks, mm-hmm. yeah. God, yeah. I hate those memory blocks. And they're in every single Mega Man game ever. <laughs> yeah. uh, those are so hard. The Yoku blocks. Especially if you're trying to do it without the weapon you're supposed to have to make it easier. And if you play, yeah. if you ever play on mute, like sometimes I'll play on like with the volume down, like on my Switch while uh-huh. I'm like watching TV. It's even, so even harder. Yeah. Because oh. you need to hear the Oh yeah. Yeah. That helps with the timing. If you don't hear it, you're like, oh God, it's even harder now. Yeah. So did you write any strategy, Michael? So, uh, okay. For beginners, play levels over and over again until you learn the patterns. (laughs) It's true. Because you have to learn the patterns. Be patient. Yes, that's a strategy. That's my first. And I've got like maybe five more. I'm not good at being patient. That's like my downfall, (laughs) you know, for most things. Nikki, just play the levels over and over again. Yeah. (laughs) That's what we had to do when we were kids. Yeah. I mean, it's bad, but yeah. (laughs) Um, my strategy is to have a coach with you (laughs) have a coach like eric because uh he made my gaming experience a lot easier because he'd be like yeah you should switch to this weapon now i'll be like okay (laughs) yeah oh man you're so right you're so right eric that's so much more easier (laughs) flash man's ability is so useful to making some of the platforming easier yeah it's like well when you played the game let's see how many times would you guess that y'all played it at least 
probably 2,000 times. <laughs> yeah, I was going to say hundreds, but yeah, I don't know. <laughs> yeah, I don't know. It's been With a lot. all the racing and everything, so. Yeah. A lot of the times when we're racing, we're just racing the mini bosses too, though. So we oh, don't, so you don't do like We don't always thing. go through all the Wiley stages. Gotcha. It's fair. Whenever we did racing and Drink Man, we never did Wiley stages. Yeah. Like, gotcha. Play, yeah. Because I don't know. I don't know why. Wiley stages are just really hard. Yeah. It takes, there's a different and level of concentration. Yeah. Mm-hmm. And, and usually when you're drinking, when you're drinking they're like after the end of the eight robot bosses. So you're already, or the mini bosses. So you're already pretty drunk. <laughs> and then you're trying to do like the really hard stages. So yeah. Like when we I did, see. I see why you just were like, well, we'll just do the, the first part. Like when we did our drink man hack and like we got through the whole game and then you get to the Wiley stages and it's like the first... Wily boss is Garfield. Oh, yeah. I've never beaten Garfield because I'm always like too drunk and Garfield <laughs> throws lasagna at you and it's like, oh my is, gosh, is, it's impossible. It's literally impossible. <laughs> Sounds uh, like a fever dream game. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> oh, I love oh, it. Man. Yeah. I'll, I'll have to show you Drink Man if I have it, Mickey. <laughs> it's so ridiculous. But yeah, I will say that like obviously knowing when to switch your weapons out during the level like that comes with playing the level a lot but yeah that that's really helpful if you can like kind of learn where to use certain things yeah this game like the bosses have very short invincibility windows compared to other Mega Man games like um that allows you to like if you can get in close you can really kind of like stack up damage but a lot of the especially the mini boss patterns are really difficult like they you know they're jumping around constantly so some of the bosses later, like, you know, like the dragon or, you know, the guts man thing that kind of, kind of goes back and forth, or even the wily machines, you can really just spam like weapons really fast and just do a ridiculous amount of damage. So you don't really have to pace your so- shots as much as you did with some of the other Mega Man games mm-hmm. where it's like, you, you know, you shoot it and then you're, it's invulnerable for a while and you have to kind of wait in this game. You can really just spam your weapons on the bosses. Uh, what about you, Michael? Yeah, I've just got a handful. So uh, one of them is don't hesitate to use other weapons during levels instead of just saving them up for the boss. Because <laughs> like as a kid, I would just like be conservative with the oh, weapons. Oh, yeah, because yeah. it reloads after the yeah, level. Yeah, so, like, right, right, so... Right, let me not use this because I want to make sure I have enough. Yeah. You, so I, it result in me not using the weapons enough. And it's like so you just didn't realize that they like replenish themselves after. No, like I, I knew I knew that, but it's like I was like I want to make sure that I have it for the boss. You're like just in case it, it replenishes yeah. after the fact. Yeah. yeah so because... like if you get to the boss and you got nothing, you're like gotcha. Yeah. You know, so like, but you should just use you're like just level. in case. Yeah. 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 So I was just like running the whole level with Mega Muster only. Yeah. And yeah. I shouldn't have done that. You know. Yeah. Yolo. Use those weapons. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Yeah, then, you, you don't want to... I mean, you did it for a reason because when you were a kid, sometimes you would get to the end of the stage and you wouldn't have any of the weapon left to beat the boss. Yeah. <laughs> that worked on the boss. And that was frustrating. It's like, oh, man, like I had the weapon that beats the boss, but I don't have any left. See, exactly. Yeah. yeah. And then one more for now would be like, if you're trying to play fast, just walk through the enemy to save time. Because sometimes you get a sniper, oh, a sniper yeah. Joe and it's like, he's just in your way. Just walk through him. And then you're yeah. like, all right, I can just not have to fight him. Yeah, Although, that was like one of mine. It's like, what do, what do you call that frame where you're like flashing? I, I frame. Yeah, that I frame. I that frame. is like oh. super yeah, helpful. That stands for invincibility frame. So it's like basically when you get hit by a, an enemy, you're kind of like flashing kind of like a ghost clear thing for like a second. And like you can't take any more damage. So if you do take damage... Just keep running, and you might can just run through a few more enemies. Oh, know? yeah. <laughs> iframe strats are great. So, like, you can use those iframes to prevent you from dying against, like, spikes and stuff. Yeah. I, I'm not sure if there are any specific situations in this particular game, but in other games, I feel like sometimes, like, you take a hit, and then, like, you just go ahead and jump on the spikes and then jump bo- and do your mm-hmm. next jump. Yeah. And it can make the, make the platforming much easier. Oh, yeah. And you just take a little bit of damage, and then you keep going, you know? But in this, yeah, in this game, you can, in some of the games you can't do it, but this one you can. Yeah. Yeah. All right. Here's another one. If you start a level with zero lives and it's a tough level, this, sometimes it's better to kill yourself <laughs> yeah. so that you can start with three fresh three lives. Three fresh yeah. lives. And that yeah. sounds weird. Like, you know, like what? Why would you ever purposely die? But I was in saying, this game, you no, it makes it sense, especially if you're using the save states, because there would be times where I would like accidentally save 
but then I would, wouldn't have any oh. lives. So pretty much every time I died, I'd have to go all the way back. And it's like, it's, <laughs> but it's, it's just easier if you do yeah, what you it, said. And, it was pretty yeah. bad. I was saying that to Nikki, like, in the start of some stages. I'm like, you should just go ahead and kill yourself. <laughs> you like, and it's okay. so bad. <laughs> yeah, I'm like, yeah. like, oh. Just here. commit suicide. Yeah. But, yeah. It, but it means, like, yeah, really, like, you're at the boss. You have half a health bar, zero lives. Yeah. It's better to die and come back with a full fresh. Yeah, yeah you know, exactly. Lives. Exactly. So Flash Man, I think he has one of the coolest power. It's I wanna don't really want to call it a weapon because it's more of a power because he can like freeze time for like a short amount of time. And so if you're at a really hard part, a really hard platforming part, or something like that, strategy is to just use Flash Man, yeah. freeze the time, try to get through that hard part without any enemies. Bada boom, bada bang, you're done. <laughs> yeah, Flashman is a confusing weapon because it's you pretty much have it once per level because once you use it, it just runs all the way out and there's yeah. nothing you can do. And it, you cannot pause halfway through. You have to, It has to run all the way out every yeah, time. So yeah, so you have, you have to like time it. But if there is like a big chunk of platforming you're having a problem with or something like that, there's a bunch of enemies, just freeze it, get through. And then you're done. Yeah, Flashman is super handy when used in the right circumstance. Like you can keep those fire dogs from spawning. You can prevent those spike traps from falling. Mm-hmm. You can an airman stage. You can prevent the little uh, big face things that you have to jump across from uh, putting out their spikes. Yeah, there's just a lot of situations where it can come in handy. Yeah, which... I just felt like that one more than some of the other ones. I was like, this is. <laughs> really going to help you out if you're yeah. having yeah. problems. <laughs> and I don't have many more, but other strategies yeah, are... Yeah, finish uh, us out. Use item two to get over the lava pit in uh, Heat Man stage. <laughs> yeah. What's, so, which one is two again? So That's you, the one that just goes straight. It's the like rocket. Jet, yeah. So if you, if you beat Air Man first, before you go to Heat mm-hmm. Man, you can use the rocket, stand on it, and avoid the Yoku blocks. Oh, yeah. That one and no- the Yoku blocks are the... Yeah. Doo, doo, yeah. Like those, like, memory blocks. That one reminds me of a hoverboard from uh, Back to the Future, oh, you know? Totally. <laughs> yeah. Oh, totally. Yeah. Man, we still don't have one of those. <laughs> but, like, I do that... I, it's, I always do it every time. Like, I don't ever do those, those blocks yeah, anymore. Yeah. I remember being able to do them, but they were just tricky. And, yeah. Like, yeah, like I yeah. could do it, but it's like it's better. <laughs> You're like I could do it, but, <laughs> but why? No. When I can just do this? There's this one part where you have kind of a tricky part. Like yeah. most of it is pretty straightforward, just jumping uh, one after the other. But yeah. yeah, there's one part that screws you up where you have to like immediately jump straight up, or you'll like pretty much die. <laughs> and then use Flash Man during Quick Man's level. Oh yeah. Use Metal Blade whenever possible. <laughs> yeah. Oh man, that Metal Blade is so cool because you can shoot diagonally. Yeah. You know? Ah, so helpful. And then save Crash Man's weapon for the Wily Stage Four boss, which is Boo Beam. We talked about yeah. earlier. Uh, yeah. Make Boo sure Beam. you have a full, 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 full uh, weapon. Fuck Boo Beam. <laughs> Boo Beam fuck, sucks. Fuck, fuck Boo Beam. <laughs> <laughs> oh man. Yeah. Okay. That's great. Future Mega Man. Honestly, I couldn't find anything. Yeah, I know. I, couldn't really find anything I know the either. latest game is Mega Man X Dive, but it's like a phone free to play game, which so does probably not, crappy. <laughs> I mean, Mega Man on a phone just—I don't know—just doesn't sound good. Mm-hmm. Like the whole point is platforming, so I don't know. It's—I can't imagine having a good platforming experience like trying to do. I mean, I phone. played it, and it was like you play it, and it's oh, like, you did play it, and it was like oh. watch an ad to get three more mega points Ugh. to Ugh. watch three more yeah. ads to get three more points to get a point. It's like it's a lot of it's, this, it's, just, it's one of those apps. I'd rather yeah. just pay for the game, you know, like yeah. just I think they charge actually, me ten bucks, you know. I think they actually did release an offline game where you could like play the game and just progress mm-hmm. normally like you would in a game, but I never really heard much about it. Yeah. yeah. So I don't know. So that's a thing that exists. Uh, the most recent <laughs> mainline uh, Mega Man game was Mega Man 11, which was like five years ago. And there's no announcements yeah. or anything yeah, which for was... like Mega Man 12 or like a new series. Maybe, yeah, because... maybe they're working on a new series. Maybe that's why it's taken so long. Well, yeah. I know that Kaiji and Afune like mm-hmm. left the left Capcom in 2010. Yeah. And like they announced uh, Mega Man Legends 3, which Mega Man Legends was like their 3D game. And then Mega Man X, uh, Maverick Hunters, and Mega Man Universe. All these games. <laughs> all these games. And they, they canceled a bunch of them. Oh, because man. he was the father of Mega Man. Yeah. And he left the company. And so for seven years, they're just like, 
we're not touching the series. He left. Okay. Maybe he'll come back. Maybe he won't. And so the series well, kind of died. And then he didn't come back. And then they made Mega Man 11. And it, it did great. But mm-hmm. but no one wants to touch it. Nobody's. Gotcha. Nobody I mean, wants you, to you eventually have to move on. People want to retire. Yeah. Or, yeah. You know, even if they don't pass away, they might just want to move on and do something well, else. You and, know? and a film they also did uh, Mighty Number no. Nine as a kind of a side project, which didn't perform well. Yeah, which didn't really do that a well. Fun either. game, but it just yeah, it had it had had issues. You know. Yeah, I never played it, but I heard it was kind of mixed reviews hmm. on it. I have a whole different episode to talk about that. I won't even, <laughs> okay. I won't even get into it. I won't, okay. I won't even get into it. Yeah. Well, for now, um, we just have to wait, I guess. Okay, so let's move on to the challenge. Nikki, did you beat <laughs> eight of the Robot Masters? Yes. You beat it. I'm the best. <laughs> did you Give me a trophy for best Mega Man player. <laughs> 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 Thank you for the yells, Michael. And uh, <laughs> how long did it take you to beat? What do you say? Oh, what? 39 years. No, uh, like a week? I think like a week. Maybe like five days. I, five, six days. I oh, I mean, just like, okay, yeah, that's fine. <laughs> <laughs> you mean like in hours? Yeah. I don't know. Probably like. Maybe like three or four. Five. <laughs> four or okay, five four hours. Five. Four or five thousand yeah. hours. <laughs> Yeah, I'm really bad at this game, so probably longer than you would think. All right. <laughs> and you didn't use any save states, right? Oh, I used all the save states. <laughs> you did not say no save states. Uh, I feel like, you know. You did not say play it like you it's should, 1988. I feel like you should have to rap because you use save states. <sighs> Fine. I mean, <laughs> but in the future, you need to specify. That's true. Know? I didn't specify. But since we have Michael here. I won't cause a scene. I'll rap. <laughs> All right. <laughs> Thank you, Nikki. Do you guys want to rap with me? It's Mega Man. Of course I want to. Yeah, I know. I mean, you want me to rap about Mega I Man I mean, I too? couldn't like, not <laughs> offer you guys a spot on my track. So. I mean, I'm sitting in your studio. I'm looking at Mega Man art all over the place. <laughs> <laughs> I've got a Mega Man tattoo on my body. Feeling inspired? <laughs> I, I can't say no to that. All right. All right. Well, let's wrap it out. Five, six, seven, eight. Robot masters, Dr. Wiley's at it again. Time to separate the mega boys from the mega men. Metal man has got me stressed. I need to think, man. There ain't no time to rest. I need a drink, man. I've been battling robot masters, heat, wood, and flash. Using the powers against them, bubble, air, and crash. Quick man is too fast. I gotta learn to slide. Maybe in another game, I should ask Dr. Light. Fighting these robots can really take its toll on me, my dog, Rush, Dr. Light, and my sister, Roll. I need to drink and eat, tank, run, jump, and shoot. To rocket past the lava, I will use item number two. When I finally save the world, that'll be a nice day. I'll stop by the cafe and try the sorbet. But for now, I gotta fight. Yeah, it's up to me. I guess I'll see y'all again in Mega Man 3. In the deep blue, I'll make my debut. I'll spew my bubbles all over you. I'm the bubble man, and I'm trouble man. I'm the bubble man, I eat double brand. The just my robot handle, real name's Randall. No one holds a candle, just a vandal and sandals. Mishandled by the folks in the school bus society. Not a lot of piety, just losers saying hi, it's me. Sobriety's a bitch, ditch the human niche. Switch to making boops and beeps and sounds in which I drop my pitch, pretend I was a glitch. Wiley thought I was a robot and I ain't no snitch. Now I'm stuck in a kind of awkward situation. Well past arbitration, with a sudden realization. I'm trapped in a station without insulation. In a summation of expiration by asphyxiation. Stop, collaborate, and listen. Flash is back with a brand new vision. Live or die, that's the decision. Vengeance is my mission. In addition, powers have been given. No play, I'm driven. Fuck being forgiven. Now I'm a villain. Oh, what's that? Time has skipped your frozen lip. Think about your life stripped while well, I'm writing my own script. Mega Man's getting whipped. Ass dipped and ripped. No time to slip. Better listen to your daddy and get equipped. So I actually took Metal Man's composition and made the beat. Whoa. And there's so much great music in this game. I actually had a hard time narrowing down which yeah, I music I wanted to use. I, I went with Metal Man just because I thought it would sound cool turned into a rap beat. But like I, I love Bubble Man. I was thinking maybe uh, Dr. Wiley Stage 1. 
That could be a whole album. Yeah, but <laughs> so much of this music is so good, like, and would work for like making a rap beat. I feel like some games, it's like okay, like there's one track that would work. Like, yeah, this game, man. What to like, pick? I love I love this music so much. Well, there's yeah. a side project for you guys to make a whole Mega Man rap album. <laughs> That'd be amazing. Yeah, I mean, people have done the same thing, and it's 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 fantastic. You know, oh, yeah. that's great. Yeah, definitely. Like there are bands who've like come back and redone the music and rappers and stuff like that. Yeah, yeah it's awesome. All right, so for our next episode, we do have a special guest. Another Ooh. one, not a surprise this time. Whoa. You know, we're telling you about it. But um, we're going to have my bestie, Brittany, on. (laughs) (laughs) All right. So our friend Brittany has been talking about this game for a while because she's been waiting for it to come out. You know, she's she's super excited. She saw a video on TikTok and she was like, Nikki, this game looks so fun. (laughs) (laughs) So it finally came out and the game is called Mail Time. And Brittany's challenge is we have to deliver 40 letters. <laughs> 40 out of? It doesn't say out of how many. We just have to deliver 40 letters to <laughs> our right. friends. Yeah. So, all right. We'll see if we can do it. Brittany, we're up for the challenge. Challenge accepted. <laughs> all right. Well, until next time. Bye. Thank you guys again for having me. It's always a blast. Thanks for joining us, Michael. All right, bye.